hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today I have a little home reset for you guys this home reset takes place any three days from Friday Saturday or Sunday it could happen on any one of those days it's like a weekend set so that way I don't have to clean at all on the weekend Alright you guys, so I really have no rhyme or reason to where I start in the house or why I start there. So on this day, we definitely started in the office. My office was in a disarray after pretty much at the end of every week it is. It just kind of collects things, the desk will collect stuff, the boys tables will collect stuff. So we just went in there and did a little tidy up. And also I downloaded some new music for my Clean With Me videos. Let me know if you like it. It's more pop centered, but let me know if you like the jazz vibes more. And yeah, let's just go ahead and clean this office together. Once we were done in the office, I went ahead and headed to the kitchen and the dining area. I do these simultaneously because they're literally right next to each other. Um, I started by filling up our ice machine. I will link that down below. It's my absolute favorite thing. And then I finished, and then I filled up these ice molds that I got off of Timu. I will also link those down below. And then we're just gonna go ahead and wipe everything down and get things in their place and then sweep and go ahead and get those floors taken care of. The way I have been loving this Swiffer Power Mop is unhealthy. I absolutely love it. I feel like it picks up way more dirt than any of the other Swiffers that they have came out with. So if you've ever considered buying a Swiffer, skip all the other ones and get the Power Mop.
were done with the kitchen and the dining room, we went ahead and headed over to the entryway just to start working our way into the living room. And this is another catch-all for my home and where the shoes get thrown and dirt collects. So I really love to tidy this area up anytime that I am doing a home reset. And as you see, I went to take something to the car and ended up bringing something back in from the car. But we went ahead and put that exactly where it needed to go. Heading into the living room, it's usually pretty cut and dry. I don't vacuum or anything in, in here on reset days. I typically just turn on the D-Bot and let it do its thing. So it's really just tidying up the couch and getting things where they need to go. That's pretty much what my reset days are, are just everything from the week that gets out of its place. I am just putting everything back in its place. And as you can see, when I'm resetting the house, typically usually Brian's probably cutting the boy's hair somewhere in the house. So. Yeah, that's usually what a reset day looks like for us. Believe it or not, our master bedroom is sometimes usually the place that is catching the most because I just kind of throw stuff in here sometimes to get it out of the living room or just to get it out of the way. When I go to bed, I get this drink or that drink and it just becomes like another catch all. I don't know what kind of habit I've gotten into of not putting things up once I'm done with them, but it's getting really bad and I need to correct it. So pretty much that's the same thing that's going on in my bedroom is just everything that has been out of place, just getting it back into its place. On a reset day, you can always guarantee that somebody's laundry in the house or some type of laundry in the house is always getting done. On this day, it just happened to be our laundry because as you can see, both our colors and our lights are pretty full at this point.
Once I'm done starting the laundry, I will head towards the other side of the house. Now I will say that this side of the house is usually where I end, but it's not always where I start. So usually the boys have had some kind of sleep overnight or something in the guest room, you know, just like a movie night with friends or something like that in the guest room. So I always have to go in here, reset the bed and just kind of freshen things up from that. Heading into the boys room, this is always my time consuming room because their room just gets completely out of whack and while they are responsible for keeping their room clean, I will go in there maybe once a week and just help them tidy up the beds and just kind of give it a little refresh and I do vacuum their room every week for them as well. But as far as keeping things in their place, that is their job. I just also know that they are smaller kids so they can't fix the bed exactly the way I like it or they won't put things back exactly the way that I wanted them to go. And so that's basically what their room is, is really just refreshing their their beds, refreshing their laundry, their drawers, and things like that. Because as you'll see, I don't come in here and pick up many toys at all. And I don't know about you guys, but there's nothing like getting some smell goods going once you've done the hard labor of cleaning. So I will get the essential oil diffusers going in my bedroom, the boys' bedroom, and the office. I have like a clay diffuser and the living room. I have a diffuser in the living room, so I will get those diffusers going. And then in the kitchen, I will typically light a candle. This always is like the cherry on top of a clean house is getting some smell goods going. So usually once I'm done with like your everyday typical chores, I will pick one big chore to do. So whether that's dusting, cleaning the walls, organizing cabinets. This day it just happened to be bathing my dog. 
And not to toot my own horn, but I have had Optimus trained since he was a puppy to be used to bad. So he will literally just sit there. It's getting him into the tub. That's the issue. But once he's in there, he's like, okay, I surrender. Go ahead and do whatever you got to do. And he takes his bath like a champ. And then once we're done with his bath, we take him out or I take him out and I blow dry him. And as you can see, I know whenever he needs to shake. So I'll always like throw something up as so that way he don't like splashes water all over me but yeah he does all of that and of course you gotta wipe down the tub once you're done bathing your pet And to wrap up our home reset, I just finished the day off by finishing up whatever laundry I started that day. And that's pretty much it, you guys. All right, you guys so that wraps up our home reset i hope that you guys really enjoyed this leave in the comments down below some key chores that you get done whenever you're resetting your home or maybe some things that you're going to be taking out of my book i love you guys but always remember that jesus loves you more and i can't wait to see you guys in the next video and let me know if you like would like for me to do more clean with me's